Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical today, and bringing you Monk Monday number 101. Thank you so much for anyone who submitted their gameplay. For those of you who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. It's also in the description, and you send me any gameplay you have. You could send me twos, threes, Mythic Plus, raiding. I don't think I've done a raid yet, but I've done Mythic Plus, Miss Weaver, Windwalker. I don't play Brewmaster. Uh, I wish I did. I wish I was good at it, though. Um, and yes, please send them. Oh, and RVGs. I send send it all to me. Uh, to, any, to that email, I just pick whoever comes first every Monday, and I get through them all. So please send them to me. Today we have Faith, who says, "Hope you're doing well." Here are two videos. One is a pretty shaky win. The other one is a loss because you know Monk has zero defensives. We'll get into it. I know the Feral Argerd video is a really hard choke on the first few seconds of the match. It gives me a ton of confusion for the entire rest of it. That's fine. Usually with Mistweaver, especially comps like that, and in twos, the opener is mostly the most important part of the game. It's 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 that's really what it comes down to because you don't have a lot of defensives and you don't have a lot of cooldowns. So you need to be the one that's very uh, greedy with cooldowns. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. It kind of sucks, but that that's just. That's just how it is. The second frustrating loss where Pharaoh and HP is just hammering me all game. I've been there. Uh, both are longer videos. Should it serve you well for YouTube? Yeah, of course, man. Yeah, I don't really do this for the YouTube at all. I really do it for anyone that wants uh, to improve. I think that watching your gameplay is by far the best way to learn. I, I you would be amazed, like just watching back your gameplay, what you could see mistakes. I edit all my videos and. I make a lot of mistakes sometimes. <laughs> uh, anyway, do keep in mind for a future video? Of course, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, good luck. And Miss Weaver on, of course, always. So we have some Miss Weaver enhancement shaman, I would assume, but could be Ellie. I played Miss Weaver Ellie too. Play against Resto Druid, Feral Druid. Peace Weaver. Peace Weaver is weird. It's a weird talent. You can use it aggressively if the, your teammate has cooldowns and like you're they're trying to clone you or your dps which is is fine it's just such a weird i wouldn't play peace weaver into this i don't think i would play chrysalis which i think is really good i would play eminence for sure versus this because you don't know if the druid is convoked either could either druids either druid could be convoked and they could absolutely one shot you so plus if the pharaoh is sitting you you kind of want to have a way to get out of stuns and then the third one is a bit of a toss-up you could play peace weaver for sure you could play zen focus t um you could play chrysalis as well so i, I you know what chrysalis zen focus t eminence is probably what i'd run versus this uh it doesn't look like you need to make any changes to your regular talents they look perfectly fine eminence is good peace weaver a song of chiji is good too Okay, yeah, you know what? Song of Chi G is uh, one of my favorite spells in the game. So if you're going to play it, I'm not going to say no. You know what I mean? So let's see what we got. We, uh, let me see if I can just skip ahead just a little bit. Okay, um, won't really, I, your UI is your UI. Look, if it looks good for you, it looks good for you. It looks like we're playing Venthyr as well. Venthyr is, I think it's good. I played it in twos at like 2400, so 2500. So uh, Venthyr I think is fine as well. Um, we do have mana, so you are playing with an Enhancement Shaman. And I would just, I don't know if you have an add-on. I, I hate having to rely on add-ons, but if you have some kind of add-on where you can track your teammates cooldowns omni cd or really team tracker probably helpful that way you know you're not overlapping cooldowns with them but i mean that's pretty much all i've got so far ui is pretty clean you know it works for you it works for you um stain range your port of course because they might open you there's a cyclone try to get the we try to get the in cap on it and it is convoke so yeah um well, let's see. So he is Convoke. He is playing the three-minute Trinket here. And I don't know if you know this. You probably do. I, maybe you don't. Maybe there's other people that don't know it. But this Trinket makes it so every three minutes you're immune to... Oh, my God. Sorry, my microphone's just, like, being annoying. Um, every three minutes, it makes you immune to two crowd controls or interrupts. And because Windwalkers don't... Mistweavers don't have an interrupt, uh, you're pretty much going to get a... They're going to get a full Convoke every three minutes. Now, what this does also... Is the Feral Druid can definitely die. Uh, the Feral Druid can definitely die without being Necrolord because they are Night Fae. So keep that in mind. I would probably hit the Feral Druid. Um, we do... Tr okay, we do Trinket, Life Cocoon ourselves, Baxton. And we did play Peace We did play Peace Weaver, so I see the buff there. Um, we're probably going to immune the Cyclone. Yeah, we immune the Cyclone, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I would right now, you're kind of on the offensive because their go is over. Obviously, the Trinket, Life Cocoon yourself was a mistake. I wouldn't. It's not that big a deal. Um, I do it sometimes. Well, every now and then. I, I will kind of like cocoon the wrong target. But 
right here is just a mistake. It's nothing too crazy, but it is your turn to go. And again, the Feral Druid doesn't have Trinket. So what you can do, um, the hardest thing when playing with an Enhancement Shaman is that sh they don't really have a stun. So you should probably leg sweep the Feral Druid and then in cap song the Resto Druid. Uh, really good. Get a leg sweep. Trinket, okay. Oh my god, this is perfect. And Barkskin from the Feral Druid. So you guys are really set up here for like really, really, really good. Oh, we have four set two. Really, really good here because neither Druid has Trinket now. And the Druid, okay, Lex Sweep doesn't have Barkskin, so this is good. Um, Song of Chiji as well is really nice. On the Feral Druid, looks, we break it, it's fine. I don't, I think that uh, Enhancement Shaman sometimes, I think it's light, ride the light, I don't know, some lightning thing. Good end cap here though. Really, really good. Um, they have some AoE that breaks it, so it's kind of annoying. Sometimes it breaks my in-cap. Uh, incapacitating Roar on your, on your uh, Enhancement Shaman. Um, we're doing pretty good as far as healing. I Make sure you put Renewing Mist on yourself and uh, your teammate as well. That's kind of important. I can't actually tell if there is or not. <laughs> I really can't. Song of Chiji from downtown? No way. Oh my god. You know what you could... Did you have in-cap? You could have gotten this. Oh, no, 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 no. That's too bad. Three seconds, you could have maybe had it. That's okay. That's all right. But normally, you know, you probably should hold on to song for when you have in cap. But mana wise, we're doing really good though. Druid is like struggling on mana. Um, Sundering there from your enhancement shaman. Bark skin from the feral druid. So that's really good. I think we're doing pretty good um, so far. I will um, make sure. I actually can't tell from the UI, but just I I just know that we don't have to do miss on ourselves in case. You know, they swap to you. So just make sure you keep doing this on your teammate. But I think overall, we're doing pretty good. Maybe you could potentially make mouse over macros. Um, also, don't be afraid to use Yulon. Uh, we're doing really good on mana. And the Druid is kind of struggling a little bit. Uh, but if you see us fall behind a little bit, uh, we're kind of falling behind here. You could use Yulon and and just heal. I know we're playing life cycles. So if you get the buff for enveloping this. Nice leg sweep here. Oh, okay. And Hex and Song. That's fine. Uh, it's actually not that bad because the feral can dispel the hex so the song six a half in cap there probably not worth the half in cap it does deal with hex but i mean it is what it is haymaker doesn't really do much maybe cyclone on your enhancement shaman it, there is a cyclone they might try to swap to you now just be careful because i don't think you're in range of port if you could stop the restealth here it'd be great spinning crane kick maybe get him out no nah. That's all right. Uh, careful of running out of range of port i don't think you are but you're getting pretty i think you're out of range okay we're back we're back all right good no, we're doing good. We're doing good. Song of Chi-Gi. Again, be a little bit patient on the Song of Chi-Gi. Um, enhancement Shaman damage is every minute, right? Or so, every minute or so. So what you can do every minute is you can leg sweep the DPS, in cap Song, the healer, and then in the intermediate goes, like in between that big leg sweep, you could just in cap Song. So, and Enhancement Shaman are pretty good into rest of Druids because they can kind of just spam to spell or spam purge. So it's pretty good. Ultimate form there. All right, Druids. So you just know that they're just running until Convoke. Yeah, I, I hope you know that that's their strategy. It's really annoying. I queued to a Boomy team that did this too. They literally did nothing. Nothing. And then just press Convoke every... Like, it, so in 13 seconds, they're going to have a big go. Um, just save your cooldowns for that. I would say for you, don't stack on your port in case they try to swap to you. But I think they want to kill your Enhancement Shaman. Great song there. Uh, Druid actually gets resonged. <laughs> um... But yeah, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, I'd like to swap over to a Resto Druid. You really want to swap on Hots. What you want to do is, um, versus Resto Druids, whenever you see one, the one of the teammates get Scenarian Ward, swap to a teammate. Swap swap to uh, a different target because they can keep extending their Scenarian Ward with their Legendary. Um, so yeah, here's Convoke. This is the big damage here. Actually does nothing. I don't know... Oh, we have uh, wolves out, so there's a good chance that the convoke hit the wolves, which is great, because uh, we were kind of dying through that. Make sure you keep renewing mist on yourself and your teammate. Very important. In cap here into song, beautiful. It's great. Drew would just use bark skin. Hopefully, we get a purge on that thorns, and then we should be uh, looking pretty good here. Leg sweep in ten. Bark skin still going up. The druid, the resto druid, bark skin, nothing. It's crazy because you can't punish them really. You could get a leg sweep on the resto druid here. Actually, you could get a double leg sweep here if you want it. Neither of them have bark skin. I mean, yeah, I would say go for it. There's Ursula's vortex. Mana's looking good. Yeah, I would. I would say just leg sweep. Yeah, go for it. 
Yeah, I I, I knew you were gonna get the druid. Uh, yeah, nice song here on the feral druid actually. Friends regen tranquility. There's nothing we could do about that because we're not playing Rop, which is fine. I don't think tranquility actually does that much damage, that much healing. It's mostly for a bubble, but the druid is running out of mana pretty quickly. So yeah, I would say right now we're doing pretty good. I, I keep saying it, but make sure you have renewing mist on you and your teammate, just because. You never know who they're going to go, and it just helps with cleave healing when you're both taking damage. Incap here. Uh, hopefully, you're getting a song off. We don't go for the song. It could have been game winning, potentially, because he's low, but uh, we didn't go for the song off. So, there's bark skin from both of them again. It's like they're synchronized with it. I don't get it, but there's a kick on you. They might try to swap you now, so just be careful. Always stay in range of your port. There's the Incarn from the Force of the Resto Druid. He's like a little confused. Yeah, Pharaoh's just like running away from him. Um, if we have leg sweep soon. Yeah, really great double leg sweep here. Really, really good. I would hold off. Okay, I would do damage here. Like, do your spinning crane kicks. I would hold off on the Song of Chi -G in this situation. Because your Enhancement Shaman is doing damage. So, I would not Song here at all. Like, when they're stacked. Wait until they spread out. Like, wait until... They're they're like one of your enhancement shaman stops saying right right now. Now you can incap song the rest of druid while your shaman hits the feral druid after the survival instincts, just because your song probably won't break. Incap here. Yeah, see see how your incap sticks? You could have gotten maybe gotten a song off and and gotten more CC. When they're stacked up, especially with enhancement shaman, they just their AoE isn't it, it's it's they don't have control over it a lot of the time, I think. I think they mostly have control over trying to go for a drink. Um, just press the button and then it does AoE damage. So, bash here on your enhancement shaman. Thankfully, they're not going for cyclones too much, which is nice. But there's a wasted bark skin from the feral druid. So once the bark skin's over, they have trinket and thirty. If you can, the druid's oom too. So if you could just live, basically what you're thinking about right now is in twenty seconds the feral druid has a go, and the rest of the druid is oom. So you just need in twenty seconds you just need to live the go or kill right now. Uh, you have one more leg sweep on the Feral Druid. You, you can leg sweep right now, the Feral, and then Incap Song if you have it. And maybe Fall in Order. Convoke, there it is. He's actually going without... He's doing it without the Trinket, which is a little weird. Felt kind of desperate there, I guess. Mana's looking good, though. Feral, this is Berserk, so this is going to be a lot of damage. Careful. Yeah, Fall in Order gets used, which is perfect. They should be able to heal. This is Wolves from your Enhancement Shaman. So what you should do... There's a ultimate for nice kick on the fleshcraft there from your uh, uh, shaman incap here. I would go for a leg sweep or a song on whichever one you're not hitting. Yeah, great incap song here. And then leg sweep would be really re oh okay yeah. You probably don't need to follow your enhancement shaman all the way around the pillar just because the druid's gonna be running by you. But I would say hit the feral druid. I think I think the rest of the druid probably will just gain mana. Bear form is pretty crazy. So good cheer. Yeah, I go for CC on the rest of Druid, hit the Feral, and you should be fine. Cyclone on your Enhancement Shaman. Druid actually trinkets into a full leg sweep into a full song. Yeah, this is really good for us. Especially if your Shaman spam purges. I try to get a Crackle out too, like a Crackle or like a Spinning Crank Kick just for uh, Mystic Touch. Just because I don't see Mystic Touch up here, yeah. No, we're doing pretty good. This poor team is just doing nothing. <laughs> They're actually doing nothing. I think they have Convoke really soon, though. I feel like they have, like... They should have... I think they have their Convoke really, really soon. Yeah, okay. Song is... Yeah, this is fine. It doesn't break, surprisingly. And uh, maybe get a little touch of death here. I didn't see there weren't too many things wrong with this game. Again, just make sure again you have renewing mist on yourself. Oh, it's this little green dot. Alright, yeah, make sure you have renewing mist on you and your teammate, like at all times. Just because again, it's like the most important part of your rotation. Um position positioning wise, you were fine. The convoke is just especially when they're running a three minute trinket, as a misweaver, there's really nothing you could do about it. There's there's really nothing you could do about it. Uh the best you could do if it's on you, you port LOS with your eminence. If it's on your teammate, Trink Cocoon, and then maybe Trinket Wall from your Shaman, just because it's a three-minute cooldown, right? So, if you have to commit your Trinkets, it's fine. Uh, just know that if they set up double stuns on you next go when they have Convoke, it's, it can be a little bit scary, but I, 
this game seemed fine to me. Yeah, I didn't see much of a much of a problem. All right, so we have Feral Holy Priest here. Yeah, watch with all the Feral Druids. Ferals are pretty good in twos. They do a lot of damage. They're really good at dampening too. They have survival instincts, bark skin, healing. So it's essentially almost like a second healer that can do so much damage. Um, this map is okay, pretty good actually. I would say run Eminence, same as last time. You could opt to run Zen Focus T instead of Peace Weaver, but Holy Priest actually have mind games and stuff like that. So it's probably best to run Peace Weaver. So yeah, this this is fine. This is as long as you're fine with juking the Feral, you're you're fine. Uh, port down below, statue up. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty pretty good so far. We are fallen order. We pre fallen order. Let's go. What soul binder are you using for Venthyr as well? Because normally when I play mine, uh, when I play Venthyr, I play Theodore, Theator, Theodore, and then I use the Wasteland Propriety for the extra versatility. I get like six percent verse with three percent verse to my teammates. So. Um, it looks like we're playing Nausea. Maybe try out Theodore. On my Venthyr, what I tend to do is run Theodore. I go here. I go an Endurance Conduit. Normally, it's Fortifying Ingredients just because it's a really good shield. And then this is really, really good to watch the shoes because normally, if you're rooted, you cannot use Dwarf Shadows. But with this, you actually can, and it breaks you out of it. And I think slows are really annoying. And then you go Potency Conduit with Splendid Mist. Either of these are fine. Go for, I really like harm denial because I really like expel harm. And then I go here for this finesse conduit. Lingering numbness is my favorite fa finesse conduit. So I go here and then I go waste and propriety. And this gives you 6% verse and 3% verse to your teammates, which is why I think it's so good. And then you, you go, um, is it imbued reflection? Yeah. Imbued reflection here for the extra healing and damage. And then you could go a third endurance conduit or you can get a second finesse. Um, this one isn't going to do much because you can't really get the buff in PvP. So, Grounding Breath, another good Endurance Conduit. And then you just go with Party Favors to get the extra stats. So, this is what I go. Najee is okay just because the versatility you get after the haste is fine. But I really like the Ador. Alright, so we're stunned. It's fine. Uh, it looks like they are kind of, kind of committing to you. Holy Ward's down on the Holy Priest. So, it's our turn. This is our Ascendant. So, I would go for an incap on the Priest here. I would say it's very important to get CC on the Priest here, actually. Just because it's it's ascendance and we do a lot of damage. So hopefully stop that cyclone. Okay, that's all right, I guess. Um, the roll away is fine. I would reset my port. Beautiful job. And yeah, this is we're doing good. Yeah, no renewing miss. Keeping up on us. Yeah, so we have thorns there. Hopefully we can get a Persian of thorns. Nice in cap song of Chiji. I doubt we're gonna get, but you could leg sweep off. Pure perfect, perfect, great. We get to get there from the feral druid. They are kind of going on you hard. We're going for a song of Chiji while dying. See, song of Chiji is just use it when your enhancement shaman is going for damage, mostly because you could fall very far behind. There are times where I've tried to go for it and my teammates are still just dying. So yeah, there's life cocoon. We get kicked. I, the kick is fine because we just we just life cocooned our teammate and there is a DR bash on you. So as far as stuns go, this is good. Do not stack on the priest though. And I would almost try to CC the priest now because it's their apotheosis, which is what reduces their cooldowns by so much. Um, yeah, what I would do is have your enhancement shaman hit the priest and use your in-cap songs to peel for yourself. I would say are the most important things. We kind of, ooh, yeah, no, that's that's a little awkward. Yeah, a little bit. Make sure you have Renewing Mist on yourself. I'm looking for the green dot in the UI. There we go. No, wait, no. No, I lied. No, it's not there. Yeah, if you have Renewing Mist on both you and your teammate, you, your Vivify will be able to just uh, heal you. And then Essence Font, really not useful in Arena. At, it's really, even with the two set, I've never, it's mostly just used for RBGs. Here comes a Mind Games. Try to dispel it. Nice, perfect. Beautiful dispel there. Here comes a Mind Control. Your Shaman can purge this, so... Yeah, perfect. Nice, nice kick. Your shaman can also purge it. But yeah, it's looking good. Uh, we have leg sweep. So in cap, into song of the feral druid in line of the priest though. So they might get a spell on it. Yeah, leg sweep on the feral is fine. I would maybe. So the biggest thing with when I, so I play with enhancement shaman too, and the biggest weakness that we found was never damage or anything. It was the fact that enhancement don't have stuns. So I would save your stun for the kill target at all times. Um, in cap song the feral druid go for a leg sweep on the priest is what i would do just because it stops all feeling from the feral druid and then you get a stun on the priest um there's holy ward a king is your shaman should be able to dispel it but this is berserk so it is a little bit scary 
four set here is looking good again you're losing a lot you're losing a lot a lot of healing not having renewing mist on yourself because you get extra healing from vivify um so keep that in mind always try your best to have renewing uh renewing mist recharging at all times and it helps you with not being far behind Sheer on that which is good and then also try mystic touching i don't know how much it affects uh enhancement shaman damage but it might do quite a bit i don't know actually i think maybe it's mostly magic pharaoh has kick okay Whew. we're getting a little low i'm getting a little scared we're, i think we're okay though i think we're good we got the root there four set careful we yeah we cut out of four set which kind of sucks i hate when i have to do that too cyclone gets kicked from your enhancement shaman okay yeah the song of chigi's yeah okay leg sweep is fine yep Song of Chigi. Right, see, that's perfect because you're able to get the stun. And then the Feral didn't have kick. I would wait until you, the Feral probably doesn't have kick to get it. Or if you have CC for him. Hex here on the Priest, which is half. But I think he gets dispelled by the Feral. I mean, mana-wise, we're, we're kind of winning. But if they get a stun, ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it kind of sucks when we, when we do that with ports because... You lose so much, uh, like, distance between you and the enemy team. Really good job. We have Renewing Mist. You could use Expel Harm if you have it for uh, some some instant healing. Oh, my God. Good good job. Good recovery here. Cyclone on you. Taf. It's fine. Stun on you is DR. Yeah, they're just DRing you like crazy, which is, which is really good. Oh, my God. Is this your mana right here? <laughs> is there a way to chop this off? <laughs> 31.177% mana. I would go for a leg sweep here. Perfect. Into a song. This, this is perfect. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The Feral Druid was in a CC. That's, your priest should get hit by that. Oh, that's weird. Um, the Feral Druid is in CC, so they can't stop it. And then you're also like not too far behind. So that's a good time. When they're both hitting you and the Feral has kick, it's really... It's rough, man. It's rough. But a priest is um, Like, you just need to live. Uh, put your port down. And then jump down. Oh. Yeah, we need to get jumped down. Oh, no, no. Definitely don't don't waste your port just to have this is, you have to sit the stun. I would I would 100 percent sit the stun. You're gonna drop low on health. You're gonna drop low. But you'll be fine because you're gonna jump down. Pharaoh will either have to chase you and then you port up, or they swaps your enhancement shaman. But in both scenarios, you're fine. So don't don't uh waste your port like this. Jump just hold it you know just hold it because also the priest is up here they have mind games they have purges they have damage it so yeah yeah i think this game was kind of tough i would say maybe rop on this on this map with your strategy if your strategy was your the enhancement shaman hits the holy priest the entire time song of shiji is fine because what you can do is you could drag the feral druid los in cap song in cap song leg sweep in cap song in cap song in cap song and when they get to you port and then that's going to force the feral druid to either Keep trying to chase you while your shaman's just bashing the holy priest or it's going to force the pharaoh to swap to enhancement shaman which makes it easier because then you have cleave so i would say song chiji is fine but make sure your enhancement shaman hits the priest the whole time that way you can peel for yourself and then this port uh we i think we had two or three awkward ports just try your best one is if you're ever in the scenario where like oh yeah i'm like stacked on my port just be greedy with it um if you have to it's fine like you're at, i think you're fine here you have what sixty thousand health or something and you have two seconds left on the sun i think you're fine he only berserks right here at the end like he basically didn't use any cooldowns during that sun so i would have sit sat that stun jump down because you're right on the edge and then port it up if it got to you or heal yourself up if he goes for your enhancement shaman so yeah um pretty good games i would say let me see the first game i think was overall fine this first game good job just staying away from the feral druid um surviving the ghost the, the opener was awkward but i mean everyone has awkward openers it's fine um no no i think it seemed fine don't be afraid to use yulon though yulon is actually pretty good healing when you're starting to fall behind uh song of chiji yeah song of chiji it was pretty good don't be impatient with it though um enhancement shaman Especially Enhancement Shaman. They don't have a stun. They have Cab Totem, but they don't have like a guaranteed stun, essentially. So just 
use your leg sweep on the DPS, in-cap song the healer, and then you can do that go every minute, and it's it's so good, it works so well. So don't be don't be impatient with the song of GG's. Wait for the in-cap song and get them as much as often as you can. But yeah, this was a pretty good game. They didn't try to swap to you, which is actually surprised with. For this one, I think it just mostly came down to awkward ports because porting allows you to avoid damage and essentially lets you just free heal. So the awkward ports were kind of weird. Um, and then this last one, just be a little bit greedy with it. It wasn't even that greedy. He didn't use any, this Pharaoh didn't use any cooldowns during it. So you were just sitting a stun. It's okay to sit stuns. It's fine. Especially if you think you're going to live. I'm trying to see any cooldowns. I think life cocoon gets absolutely destroyed at the end here. I'm pretty sure <laughs> you get, yeah, yeah. That, that dampening is rough for us for sure. Um, and then song of Chi I, I love song of Chi but try your best not to, um, use it right in the face of both enemies when one of them has a kick otherwise you're just gonna get kicked and fall really far behind so or save your leg sweep if you get kicked that's fine too you go for an in-cap song you get kicked use leg sweep that way you don't fall behind and then you could also just like roll away or get a follow-up song but yeah that is pretty much it if you have any questions at all let me know i'm more than happy uh but yeah that's that's all i got hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day hope you enjoy the video see you later